The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the gold market first today, folks. Unfortunately, the DAX is unavailable. Uh, my good friend, oh, Mr. Allen over there in the UK, uh, has some problems with uh, technical issues regarding the Internet, so he's not able to send the, the DAX and the FTSE. I don't usually follow those, so we'll start out with the gold today because it's in the same theme of what I really wanted to talk about today, and that is the ABCD pattern itself. Uh, by the way, we had one of our listeners at TFNN stop by yesterday. He and his wife took me to lunch, and uh, it was uh, very, very enjoyable. Uh, this gentleman has uh, studied a lot of stuff, had a lot of friends that we've known through the years, and uh, it was uh, really, really great, and he told me a wonderful real estate story that uh, he and his wife bought a nice house in a northern part of California, very near a company called Apple. And um, I think he said he was a mile away from Apple. And anyway, it happened to be an extremely good investment. Uh, so it was uh, really nice to hear that story, and it was uh, fun to meet him. Uh, we have people come by occasionally, and we've got one coming by on Thursday from the state of Washington. Marshall and Lynn will be down here again. They're here a couple times a year, so we always enjoy seeing them. So if you get in this area, give the old cowboy a call and uh, bring your credit card because, no, I'm just teasing. I'll be happy to buy lunch. Yesterday I got lucky because the dude had his credit card out before I could even move. So we'll see you Thursday on Marshall for sure. Um, okay, we'll move on to this. I want you to take a look at the gold chart, folks, because uh, I just want you to see that ABCD pattern that you see with that little red uh, pattern that was drawn in there. Uh, the, this stuff with Ensign started back in 1985 after I uh, finished working at Commodity Corporation. I was trading uh, down in uh, uh, Pismo Beach, California, and these two gentlemen, Howard Arrington and his brother John, said they'd like to come down and spend a day with me. And uh, so I did, and they were bringing out this uh, software program, and I showed them what I was doing. And that day I was there on Friday, I had what what we usually call a perfect day of trading. You don't see those very often, but I was able to sell at point A and buy at point D, and I did it several times. And so they built this little tool that's in there, and it's basically when you put it in, the AB leg is going to be equal to the CD leg. And as you can see here, last night, that ABCD leg lined up just spot on. So it's only a 15-minute chart, but, you know, it's already moved $5. So that's the type of thing that uh, they were working on. Um, I told him, I said, you know, I don't have a day like this. I said, this totally, uh, I have, think I had five trades. And, uh, you know, I said, it's just, you know, un unusual. And so they said, well, can we come back? Well, they came back and came back and came back. And uh, that's how Instant Software got all these tools and how it got started. And they built that Pesavento indicator for me that, you know, locks up all the, the ratios to the hundredth decimal point, which is a little bit too much. But uh, that's how it all got started. That ABCD pattern is right out of Gartley's book, page 249, and where the AB leg is equal to the CD leg. That's how you, you develop parallel channels, you know, all the stuff that uh, you see with Alan Andrews and the median lines and stuff like that. So it all starts there and then moves forward. So we'll uh, take a look at it. If you remember yesterday, we were looking at the, uh, the Australian dollar. We had a really nice pattern in the Australian dollar here. You'll see that uh, we had this beautiful 135 pattern. Uh, each of the ratios was right at the 78% level, and uh, it had a uh, you know pretty nice move down. We're down about 80 pips right now uh, from the high, which is uh, excuse me 70 pips down from the high, and so that makes that uh, pattern uh, should complete down here with an ABCD down at 7040, which is that other low down in here. It must hold right where we're trading now, right around 77, because 70, 70, because if we don't hold that, that's what uh, we'll be looking at. So 
knowing that about ABCD, let's take a look at what we had here in the the um, stock market for the S&P 500. I'm going to go through a little series here and take the first few minutes here of this uh, uh, radio show today to go through this. But if you'll take a look at this, this is the daily chart, and we're going to look at it from February 4th to yesterday. And if you'll notice, you'll see that red ABCD Thunderbolt line there. It's little, I'm going to bring it up so you can, so you can blow it up so you can see it and get rid of all these other lines. But this was done, you know, way back on the, um, the 18th of, uh, of uh, let's try it again, Larry, 18th of uh, March. And uh, we were looking for a high there around March 20th to come in around 2870. Uh, and uh, so uh, it hit that yesterday, 2870. So what I'm going to do now is do the same thing I did with the gold. I'm going to do that with the S&P. So the first thing you'd want to do is to just clear out everything. And the first thing you'd want to do would be to just draw in the ABCD pattern. You know, you can do it with your pencil. You don't, you don't have to have a fancy tool or anything. Just draw it in. Draw it in from your low on the uh, 8th of February up to the high on the, the 4th of March, down to the low of the 8th of March, and then up to yesterday. You'll see that measures to an A, B, C, D pattern. So whether that's going to be the top or not, I don't know. It's, it's gone a, a tick or two above it so far this morning, but we're going to go through to see what's interesting. Now, if you'll notice that high that was made on the 4th of March from the low on February 8th, that was a period of 15 days. So the next thing you'd want to do is to measure the same thing that happened on the next 15 days. And if you do that, you, and if you do that, you're going to come up with that same pattern like you're seeing in the gold, that there should be some type of a correction up in here. How much? I don't know. And I don't even know if it's going to correct. But that's, uh, that's what you're supposed to do. So uh, around that uh, 2872 uh, level is a pretty good area uh, for resistance is what we think if we're looking at the ABCD. That's the only pattern that I can see that uh, is clear enough to, you know, to, uh, to to quantify risk. That's the the main thing that uh, we're looking at here. So I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, if you're interested, you can always get that Gartley book. Uh, I have it available. Uh, if you, it's on a PDF file, of course. But it's it's seven, it's what 600 pages long. But the most important pages are pages 200 to 249. Those are all the patterns, and he he uh, he labels them as a T. Like T1 is a technical pattern, and T6 happens to be the expanding triangle, the one two three four five expanding triangle pattern. And uh, you know all of those have their own things. They have the head and shoulders, and uh, but on the in that book he spent two full pages discussing the Gartley 222 pattern. I, I named it the 222 because on page 222, he defines the ABCD structure and the pullback. There's no uh, hint of Fibonacci in this book. It was written in 1937. It cost $1,500. It cost of three Ford automobiles. It, uh, Elliot came out with his work in 1938. He talked about Fibonacci. Gann never mentioned the word, and believe me, Gann knew Fibonacci because he was a 33rd degree Mason and you don't become a Mason if you don't understand Fibonacci. So, um, you know, why he did that, I don't know. He talked in three-eighths and five-eighths and stuff like that, but he certainly knew it. There's no question about it. But nowhere in his writings will you ever find the F word. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to bring to your attention the uh, next chart, which is the daily chart of the dollar-yen. You'll notice here that uh, we completed that ABCD pattern here about six or seven days ago uh, in late uh, March, uh, right down at that uh, 109.80 level. 109.69 was the actual low, uh, and there was a beautiful ABCD pattern there. It's had a really strong rally. We rallied over 150 pips uh, up above this uh, 111.38. Folks, if we get above 111.80 here, we're going to be looking at 113.30. Now, the, the reason why I selected this chart this morning is for two reasons. One is the ABCD pattern that you see here drawn with the Thunderbolt. Uh, that is really an important low because you'll see that was the correction that we had after the big Japanese bank robbery back on January the 3rd. And you'll notice that when it pulled back, it just had a very slight pullback of about uh, 100 pips. Then it had the run up to the 78% level. Then it had the ABCD. The, the, real, the, real, uh, the real great question here is if that low at 109.70 would have been a 382 off of the low on January 3rd, Boys and girls, that's mother God and country. If you get that 382 with an ABCD with another Fibonacci number there, you've got five numbers coming together at the same time. Uh, they don't always work, but that's an ideal situation. You hardly ever see five numbers. Uh, with a Gartley pattern, you see three. A three drive to a top pattern, you see three. Uh, you know, uh, the, the Gartley pattern, is, like I mentioned, is three. And, and I'll tell you, the... Uh, uh, what was the other three drive and the, and the butterfly pattern is three but when you have one of those together like that it, it really lines everything up and, uh, and if it's at a 382 retracement you know it's really really powerful just to just to show you the power of the 382 retracement folks go all the way back to April you see where we had that little ABC support there at 10420 that's the same pattern that we're seeing here at 10960 so at, at 10420 the market just takes off and runs. You see it has very little pullback, about 70, 80 points all the way up. And then finally, in May, between the uh, 14th and the 28th of May, you get a seven-day correction. That's about a 10-day correction, it looks like, right at the 382, just flat out, spot on. And that's your, that's your uh, where they circle the wagons and your last chance to get in, and the way it goes. And uh, you see it goes up and it makes the three drive to a top at that 618 on the weekly. Well, 
remember that because when you see those, those are the ones that are really important. We had one of those in the uh, in the hog market, but it was not at a 382 retracement. It was at the 78 percent level. But we had six numbers, five, no five numbers coming together in the hogs uh, when they hit, and that that is a that's a huge uh, a huge uh, run in that. So uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, you know why we looked at that uh, for such a a good buy. We got out way too early, of course, but it was still a still a nice trade. Now we got something going on in the old cryptocurrencies this morning, boys and girls. We've been talking about the. Uh, hold on one second. We'll get it up here. We've been talking about this level here, in the old Bitcoin, and we took off like a stripe of deer, and you can see away she went. And uh, this just started Sunday night, and we got up to 5,100. And we were looking for a price of around 5,000, and uh, so it went above it. We, we, the last trade we have this morning is at 48.20. So what you want to be watching is to see what the next little correction is going to be, or if it busts through 5,100 again. Remember the big ABCD structure in the cryptocurrency Bitcoin that they're not all alike, but that's the the big daddy rabbit that they look at. Uh, since 2009, when Satoshi Nakamura came out with his uh, is a free thing called, uh, uh, what is it, uh, I forget what they call it, cryptocurrencies, no, blockchain. And uh, we've had uh, four 80% correct, they're actually 83% correction since that time. And uh, the last one we had came in at around 3,800. The low happened to be a lot lower than that at 3,100, but it was coming down so quickly, that's not surprising. But anyway, this was the breakout to the upside. That was your first price objective. If you were looking at that, You'll notice the 20 minute line that was there, the touch there on uh, March the 4th, uh, almost perfect. It was off by just a couple of ticks, but when you stop and think that these Bitcoins are a little suspect, <laughs> that's to say the least. By the way, I, I, I saw uh, my friend uh, John Jameson over in the, uh, the UK mentioned to me that uh, CNBC did a study on these 81 different exchanges that they have cryptocurrencies. And uh, CNBC, CNBC, CNBC mentioned that 71 of the 81 were actually fictitious. In other words, there are ways to steal your money. So if you're going to get into this, for heaven's sakes, research it and understand what the heck you're doing because it's the wild, wild west over there. There's un these, these unregulated exchanges, uh, you know, these guys that are really good with computers and that leaves me out of the way, but uh, you know you got to be careful, folks. There's a lot of crooked folks out there, as you go, as you well know. So pay pay close attention to that. Here's a really neat chart that I wanted to share with you. It's from one of our students over in uh, Mumbai, and he is starting his own little uh, teaching thing using the uh, harmonic trading stuff. I want to get it up here. He's done a beautiful chart here. Uh, you'll be able to see it. He does it with really simple numbers. He doesn't put in butterflies or ABCDs or anything like that, but you can see the ABCD patterns as they complete, and he's basically looking to show you the wave structure. Uh, and this is the Nifty 50. It's a monthly chart. Uh, we're trading in around 26, uh, 493. Another, uh, five, another 4,000 points takes it up to that 3,100. And that could easily get to that level, so you'd want to be keeping an eye on this. I've never traded this. This is about the only the third time I've ever seen it. But the real important thing here is that to show the wave structure that's there, that all of these waves are interrelated, like waves 1 and 2 are equal to 3 and 4, and uh, 2 and 3 should be equal to 4 and 5. You know, that gets into Elliott wave counting, which I, this is not a count like this. This is where, where it gets very difficult. This one's a real easy one because, you know, a blind man can see the ABCD pattern on this one. So that's uh, that's major things that we're going to be doing. What he's going to be doing in the future is, you know, putting the three drive patterns uh, on the chart and also the butterflies and also the Gartleys as people get more acclimated to these numbers of 618 and, you know, all these things. But it's a very, very beautiful chart. He's done a great job with it. And, uh, you know, he does the same thing on the dailies and on his intraday stuff. So it, uh, this is the kind of work that you want to do to see where you are. And believe me, you're going you're gonna to have some losses, folks. You remember those four losses that they always talk about with Mark Douglas? You know, the fear of being wrong. Boy, you better flat get ready for that one because uh, you're going to be wrong a lot. And the
touch anything. Broadsword to Danny boy. Broadsword to Danny boy. Broadsword to Danny boy. Okay, I'll be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm. Mm. That noise, folks, is the boat, the big, large ship that's out there. Holy cow, it's the bond ship. It's heading back to port, folks. You can forget about 178 in the bonds. Uh, we just made a 61% retracement last week on a Thursday. That was spot on. Uh, it went two ticks higher. Uh, the number was 150.18. The high was 150.20. We've now dropped three handles in three days. Uh, that's not the way that bull markets usually act. So pay attention. If we get below that 146, uh, this is going to be it. Now here again, if you look at those cycle lows that we looked at, there's your AB leg back in January, uh, excuse me, March of 2017, the market rallied 26 weeks, right up to a 382 retracement at 158 and change, and then it had the big move down. Starting in October, at 26 weeks, bada bing, bada boom. That was yesterday, right at the 61% retracement, and now we've started down 
Folks, the last time we had one of these, you can see what happened. That's not a very, very positive. And this is a downtrend. Remember, these bonds topped in June of 2016, three years ago, with the three, you know, three drive to a top pattern there and stuff. So, you know, what the Fed is doing is they are, uh, you know, doing their usual Fed uh, things, but they're following what interest rates are doing. So sort of pay attention to that. I, I think it means something, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. That certainly looks, uh, certainly looks negative. There's no question about that. If we look at the Treasury notes, which is the shorter-term paper, Hold on one second here. We'll get this up. <laughs> okay. Very good, uh, Maria. That was very funny. Okay. Here's uh, the notes on the weekly. You know, they topped. Actually, they made a double top. Uh, their actual top was way back in 2012. That's when notes actually topped. It made a double top again at the same time the bonds did in June of 2016, completing the head of the head and shoulders pattern. Again, you can see that blue ABCD line. It uh, lines up uh, pretty much spot on. And then you see the, the structure that we have here. Uh, the high that we made last week was at the 78% retracement of the shoulder, whereas the bonds were at the 61%. Now, remember, Treasury notes uh, have six times the volume and open interest as the Treasury bonds. This is the largest commodity that is traded anywhere in the world. There, nothing comes even close. We don't, the euro at the Merck is a small percentage of the, I think it's one and a half percent of all Forex trading. So if you counted Forex, the euro is hands down and all these other currencies would beat these, uh, these numbers here. But for commodities that are actual exchange traded contracts, that 78% level there is very, very important. And the fact that notes are so big that that's why it's so very, very important. And it's also when we got up to that area, uh, as we mentioned, the open interest actually started to drop because we were switching, you know, from the uh, March to the June, and there wasn't follow-through. In other words, people weren't rolling over their their contracts from uh, one to the other. So, yeah, everything is green. Uh, you're absolutely right, Maria. It starts over in China. It was up another 1%. Hong Kong was up. The Nikkei was down just a tad, but... Uh, that the, the big move is in that Chinese market in the FXI. That thing has really had a heck of a move. In fact, that was one of the things I wanted to do this morning here, and I wanted to see if uh, if it's going to be correct. Hold on one second, and I'll get this FXI so we can uh, see it, and then we will uh, all look at it together. And um, we'll get this up here. Oh, you don't really get to see it nearly as well. Uh, no, it's not. This FX, this, these ETFs, I... Uh, uh, I'm not even going to comment. I'm just not going to comment. But this is the ETF, which is not indicative of what that Shanghai index is really doing. This is the ETF for the for the Shanghai, but believe me, it's not uh, it's not uh, acting like what the actual. You see the big gaps that you had there. You, what the problem is is the data you're showing here uh, from uh, today. You know, shows it down just a little bit, but actually, the Shanghai market was up sharply again last night. I think another another one percent so that's the the main thing that we're that we're watching so um i i don't know anyway that that area of 283 should have been pretty strong support there I, oh one other thing i wanted to mention about that dog on it i forgot it hold on one second i want to bring it up again so we can see it together here's that chart here on the s p got a lot of lines here but this is something you're gonna have to bear with me on Here's that S&P, but what I wanted to show you here, if you go back to January, you see that where that real dark black line is? Uh, that's a line that I draw, then I make it really thick to show its importance. Well, if you look at that line there, that line comes in at uh, 2880, uh, okay? And then you see it goes all the way across to touch over the, excuse me, that's not 2880, it's 2870, 28, 2872. And then if you'll see here, if you draw it all the way back across, that's the line that we hit yesterday. Now, I don't know if that means anything or not, but it, it's it got the, the all the characteristics of a head and shoulders pattern. You can see the left shoulder would be over there in January, your full moon there in September that made that three drive to a top pattern. You can see by the the uh, little triple, uh, triple drive to a top there with those three, uh, excuse me, the yellow triangles. Uh, that's all that is, is just coloring them in so they can see it. And then you had the big A, B, C, D down, stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, I think within 
uh, four, uh, four pips or four ticks, and we went up, and this is where we are. Whether it means anything or not, I don't know. All I know is that's what I see, and what I see is what I be. So we'll keep a look at it and see if it's going to. Uh, now let's see one that. Let's take a look at one here that did not work. This is one that we're watching right here. Here was one yesterday in the uh, crude oil. We were looking at crude oil for a top up there at that 160.40. Uh, um, the risk on that was about 40 pips. It went through it. We got all the way up to uh, a 162.05. Uh, that's a uh, big expansion number. So what I'd be looking for now is to see what the retracement is. And so far in the 24 hours since that time, the, we dropped down and we rallied up to a 78% level in the uh, the crude oil that came in at uh, 6205, and right now we're trading at 6190. Now whether that's going to mean very much or not, you know, I'm not sure, but we want to keep a close eye on it. The other one that is uh, hanging on for dear life, folks, uh, is the euro. It's it's really trying to hold on here. Uh, we've mentioned it many many times. Uh, it just doesn't have any volatility right now, which is really uh, unusual because we have such a, a situation here in the US dollar. Let me do the US dollar first and then we'll do the euro. Here's the US dollar pretty much up to date. You can see that we've had this really nice run uh, where we had from 95.20 which was the 78 percent level. We ran up 10 days. Uh, we're stopping you know right at the 61 percent retracement for the high in March so we should be due for a correction which means the euro being 53% of the dollar index should get ready to rally, but it's still hanging there near this uh, 112 level. Now we broke down to 111.89 last night and had a little bit of a bounce. So this is what we're going to find out here. But because if this, look at this chart really closely, folks, this dollar, because we have a double top in November, a double top in March. If we get through that double top, and there could be a, maybe even be a triple top, I don't know. But if we get through that and we get above 98, Look out, that euro is going to be heading south down towards that near the Straits of Gibraltar down about 106. 877 927 6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying Diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. 
Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we don't have to take a ride in Tom O'Brien's uh, big yacht today or anything, but we're going to go fishing here. This is a chart of something that I don't trade, and I'm thinking of doing my first trade in about 40 years. This is the chart, daily chart of May coffee. And as you can see here, we're down to the 91, uh, 90 level. Uh, you can see the down sloping lines here. We've been in a strong downtrend ever since uh, February and uh, late February. And uh, it, we're making new lows here, but you can see we have a three drive to a bottom here right now. We also have an extended A, B, C, D pattern all during the month of March. A big uh, outside day yesterday with a lower, a lower low and everything. So if it doesn't go any lower than this, uh, I'm looking at the low of one, uh, excuse me, 91.82. I don't know where it's trading this morning, but. Uh, I would be looking to buy that at about 92 and putting a stop at 91. That's a risk of about 400 bucks. This is not a, um, a trade for the fate of heart, of course, but it's got a lot of things going for it. Uh, if it works, it's great. If it doesn't, you know, you're going to be out about $385 really quick. But uh, that's what I'm looking at. I have no idea where it's trading, and somebody is going to tell me where it's trading right now. So we'll see, we've got a question from Mr. Z here. Look at copper. I'd be happy to take a look at copper for you, my friend. And um, oh, ask me my deepest thoughts on Bitcoin peak. I have no thoughts on Bitcoin, buddy. I've never traded it. I don't know anything about it at all. So um, I know someone who does, but uh, you know, it, it, it's just it made a good bottom down there, and it's it's broken out to the upside. Now we're going to see if it has any legs. That's all I can tell you. Um, I, you'd have to look at one of those ETFs that mimics Bitcoin. That's what I would do because if you try to trade those things on the exchanges, that's a disaster. Those, there's, a, there's so many crooks out there doing that stuff that I, I wouldn't trust. Uh, I wouldn't trust any of them. The way you have to go about trying to get one of these uh, things, I've never done it. I would like to buy some of these ones that are trading for 20 cents and stuff like that, but uh, you know, I, I don't even know how to. Well, I do know how. It's just you have to jump through many. Through many, too many hoops to see if uh, you know that's what we're that's what we're looking at here. Anyway, let's take a look here at uh, copper. Holy cow! What happened to all my uh, work on copper? My goodness, all my charts are gone. Just a second. Wow, that's not very smart. Let's do it to four hour here. Yeah, here we go. We're all right. All right, here's the copper here. We just had a uh, we just took out the highs of the last two months. Uh, let's just get this up here. We backed off from uh, we backed off about six cents already. Uh, I'm not bullish copper, and the reason why I'm so bearish gold and silver that I just don't think copper is going to uh, do too much here. But uh, we did have a pullback at that level of uh, 284. Uh, Mr. Z was on all over that one, and it had a heck of a run. Ral rallied well over 13 cents up to that uh, 298 level, uh, and now we backed off about 7 cents from that. What you'd want to be watching for, Z, is if it gets below – uh, 289. Uh, there's problems in River City. That's what I would look at. Other than that, it's still in a really strong uptrend. I don't see. Uh, uh, I don't see much other than that. But uh, it did take out the highs of the last couple of months. Took out uh, highs of March and uh, February. So that would be uh, that would be a very positive sign. So that's it. Uh, regarding the Bitcoin, folks, I, the one thing I'm going to do here is, uh, you know, I. <laughs> When I don't understand this stuff, I have to tell you because I am a technician. I, I really am. I don't do any of these things uh, with fundamentals because I get my fundamental information on the grains and uh, livestock from Simon Only and Rich Anderson. 
and the rest of it, you know, I'm just basically looking at, uh, and that's a lot of weather-related stuff. But I'm just looking at the charts because I watch the sum total of the charts. If the prices are going up, there's more buying. If prices are going down, there's more selling. You know, that's uh, that's what you're watching. So, by the way, if you're if you're watching these bonds, watch for a 382 retracement in these bonds up around 149.06. That's about one handle from where we are right now. We're quite oversold because we've been down for about five, four days now, five days. So we're due for a short-term rally. So watch that 382 rally coming back. You know, that's uh, that's what you really want to be uh, keeping an eye on because that 382 will help you define, you know, what that trend is, is going to be. So that's, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Now, whether that works or not, you know, I'm not really sure. We got the euro trading now below that 112 again. We're trading at 111.99, and if we get below 111.75, uh, that was a low we made uh, several weeks ago. Uh, that tells us that that uh, that triple bottom that there is might not be uh, might not be holding. It's just very very critical down in here. It really is. So uh, I watch it. Uh, haven't done anything with it. All of our rallies the last two days have not been any more than 40 pips. So you know it's not ready to turn yet, but it might be getting closer. So those are a couple of the things that we're watching. I hope that helps. And, you know, if you do ask me these questions and I don't know the answer, I'll try to get it for you. But uh, I don't know what's going on with the cryptocurrencies. And, you know, it's not about cryptocurrencies. I believe it's about blockchain technology. That's what John Jameson tells me. And he's a pretty smart dude. And uh, so I have to think that's what it is. I, I didn't get any of that stuff. Uh, I understand that uh, Bob Prechter's son, uh, bought some Bitcoin at under 20 cents or something like that and, and made an absolute fortune, and God bless him. I think that's wonderful. And, uh, you know, but I, you know, that's just, I, I don't know anything about it. I really don't. I've looked at the charts, and I know what's coming, but I don't know what's happening. We've got crude oil getting ready to uh, take out a new high here. Uh, the crude oil, folks, it looks like we're heading towards that uh, 63 level. That's the 61% retracement on the uh, long-term uh, weekly chart on crude. Let's get this up here so that you folks can uh, take a look at it because that's what it looks. Oh, you know what I did? I didn't put the long-term weekly chart in on crude this past uh, newsletter because I was so focused on that four-hour chart thinking there was going to be really strong resistance at 6,100. And again, the market said, nada, 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 not this time. But they believe the number for the 61% retracement on the weekly crude oil comes in at 63. I'm going to do it here very, very quickly because all I have to do is to switch over to a W, which is the weekly chart, and voila, that number is actually 63.88. That's the, let's just bring this up so you folks can see it here. You'll be able to see it right here. Hold on a second here. Uh, did Prechter's son help out his dad? I don't think uh, Bob Prechter needs any help. He's a pretty smart guy. He's got an IQ, you know, uh, about uh, about the same as mine, only I had to take the test four times to get to 170. Here, you'll notice here, there's a crude oil weekly chart. That 61% retracement comes in just a tad under $64 a barrel. We're trading at 62.21. Uh, we're up 10 weeks, and it was a really strong start this week. It looks like it really wants to get to that level. So, uh, you know, try to find a, a place to buy it. We had a 70 cent pullback last night, and that's all we've been getting over the last couple of days, and, and away it goes. So we'll keep an eye on it. We're watching these grains really closely, folks. And we got the, wow, the end of the show already. We got some big stuff coming up next week. Uh, we got this new moon coming in on uh, Friday with Norm Winsky as our guest. We'll hopefully have Stan Harley here tomorrow. But uh, we'll be watching it closely here. we got a break coming up already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, this was a fast show today. God bless you all. Thanks for all the call-in questions, folks. It's very, very helpful. All right. We hear the music coming, so we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the most important thing that's happened so far in the first two days of the week. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best. 
in everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to tell you a little story. Back in 1944, when we were in the big war, I was living with my grandmother in Clinton, Indiana, because my father was in... Uh, where was he? He was uh, he was in the state. He was in uh, Paso Robles, California. He was a uh, I forget what his job was there. He couldn't go uh, overseas because uh, he had a, a young son, me, and then he also had a, a slight uh, health problem. I don't remember exactly what it was that he couldn't go into combat, but he could go into the service. My mom worked in Chicago uh, for the uh, one of the airline companies. She was making airplanes uh, with my aunt. And so we all lived together with my grandparents. And uh, I remember in the mornings, my grandmother, being four years old, she'd feed me the oatmeal. He says, now remember, when you start trading, she says, you're going to run into these times when it looks too good to be true. But always be careful. If it looks too good to be true, it most probably isn't. So remember, when you're looking at treasury bonds and they have negative interest rates and you're watching these things, uh, they're trying to feed you some bologna, uh, don't eat it with, unless you have a lot of lettuce and tomato on the sandwich. So be careful of these bonds, folks. Mortgage rates are 3.3. .3. If you can refinance now, if you're looking to buy a home, now's the time to do it because they're not going to get any lower than where they are right now, in my opinion. The negative interest rates, they're going to look back in the history book and say, are you kidding me? People actually did this? And I said, yes, they probably did. And they've been doing it in Japan for quite a while, and it seems to be working, but... History does not say that's going to be a good ending 
uh, in my opinion. You know, my grandmother wasn't wrong very often. And in fact, I can never remember when she was wrong. So keep in mind that we've made a major top here in these treasury bonds at, at that 150.20 area. And we're now trading at 148.05. Uh, low yesterday was below 148. So I don't know when that 382 rally is going to come, but let's pay attention to it because that's going to be the last train.